Hey there, my name is Dr. Knott. Welcome back to Hacknet with Labyrinths. Let's connect to our account and get going again. Alright, so we have an email. Aggression must be punished. Entropy. Dr. Knott, version 2. You've proved yourself very capable in a very small amount of time. I'm impressed. There's something that's been bothering me for a while that I'd like you to help with. A relatively new but apparently talented hacker by the handle, Nakes, has been a bit over aggressive. He claims to have recently stolen a great deal of internal data from Microsoft Inc. Entropy is actively trying to improve the view of the hacker community in the eyes of the public. Just because our methods can be illegitimate does not mean our intentions are to harm. Nakes is doing a lot to damage this effort. I would like you to delete what he stole, the IP he used to access their servers is attached, or it attached, the archive should be on that node somewhere. The recently acquired program has been added to the asset server to aid you in this task, so let's grab this. This is a big deal. If you haven't seen the previous playthrough, this is a big deal. So let's see... S SMTP overflow, SCP, SMT, you know, you know how it goes. All right. So this is a big deal. Let's probe the system. We'll see what happens. I'm not gonna say anything. Ooh, a proxy detected. No way. All right. So shell this bad boy up. Shell this bad boy up. We're gonna shell a bunch of things because. I, no, I didn't spell that correctly. Hey, everyone's everyone's getting involved. You too, asset cash. So I'm gonna run out of space here, but um, let's overload this. No, did not need that many. Okay, so let's do SSH. I'm gonna have to close some things here. Close, 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 close. So I need to do three, SSH 22, FTP bounce bounce 21, and then I think it's the SMTP thing we got, right? SMTP, yeah, SMTP overflow. Can I do that too? I didn't do the right number, 25. Ah, come on, let's go. Go faster! Go faster! Okay. So, here's the issue. gonna get wrecked here in a second. I'm gonna do this too. <laughs> oh shit, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get wrecked here. Let me, uh... Oh, we have to go back in like that? I'm not gonna do this. Okay, so... I was gonna go delete the rest of his computer stuff. I wonder if... Oh, damn it. That didn't, uh... That didn't work. So... Seriously, you think you can just fuck with my stuff and leave without consequence? Did you think I wouldn't notice? Did you think I wouldn't find you? You're a pathetic script kitty. You yeah, okay. <laughs> so that was Nakes. And this happens. <laughs> Last time this happened, I kind of freaked out. Because I'm like, uh, what? Alright, let's boot. So we got hacked by Nakes, I believe. I think he went through and like deleted or did something to us. But he figured out, yeah, see, unable to load system file X servers. I think he deleted our stuff. He came through and just wrecked us. So, boot complete, but we had four errors along the way. It says, uh, consider looking at the logs effectively, is what it says. So. Loading modules complete, loading nodes complete. Articulating splines. You always gotta articulate your splines. Root errors detected. Unable to load system file X server sys. 
Locate and restore a valid X server file in blah, 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 restore UX functionality. Consider examining reports in the log for problem cause and source. System UX resources unavailable, defaulting to terminal mode. So I think that's what the four errors said before. And here they are again. For a command list, type help. This took me a second before. So we need to locate and restore a valid X server file in the system folder. So I'm connected already to my computer, which is the IP address 147.171.99926. No running processes. Scan. So we got Beagle Communications. So we can connect to that. Connect it to Beagle. So moves current working directory to folder, which I think will be in the system folder. I wonder, can I do it like this? Invalid path is just sys. How do you do this? This e. sys. No, that doesn't work either. So let list the file in the current directory. So can I then go? Okay, so it's sys like this. Now I gotta go sys. Imagine cd sys. Okay. And then ls, so I need to um, copy this, right? SCP X server deal, transfer complete to local folder. So then I connect back to my PC, which is 147.171.9926. And then I go to the, 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 the ls. I go CD sys and um oh whoops no how do I get back out so I, I think it's just CD right CD how do I get back out? Oh, CD, where to go or to go back? CD, da, da. there we go. Okay, um, ls, and that was placed, when we when we download things, it's placed in the bin folder. So I need to move, I'm not seeing the system. Or is it in home? Where in the hell is it already placed in the system? So, okay, how do I run this? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Place target text in the file with a replacement. Reboots the connected computer. Reboot. Or how about I spell it correctly? There we go. So we have the system f file in the right folder and then we reboot it. There you go. So let's just look through and actually read a little bit. Um, but this should work, I believe. I believe it should. All right, music sounds good. Oh, we're green now. I like this. Things have inverted for some reason. Not the map, just the location of things. Like now, my notes are over here. 
This is over here. All right. Actually, just this is one over to the right, but we're like better now, you know? Nice try, cupcake. Haha, <laughs> dancer. Oh, when? Mission incomplete. Yeah, so say goodbye to your ex server, idiot. Sha. Okay, so. We got this done, right? Snakes hacked me. It appears as though you have been uh, you have completed the requested task at least at a cursory look. Hopefully this community's profile will remain a little civilized for some time longer. While the job appears to be done for now, I'm not entirely convinced there were no other copies. I expected to hear something about it being deleted from one of the hacker IRC channels I idle in, but nothing so far. Hopefully it's a delayed reaction or something they are trying to cover up. If you'd like to poke around a little more, be my guess. In the meantime, there is something you could give me a hand with. Someone on those channels has been talking about the job you were investigating. This has got the IP the server the files were taken from. That's a weird sentence. Did you see if you could get it for me? Just reply to this with the IP as additional text. I ran a simple track on him. And it looks like the daddle. Daddle? Be where I linked. Oh, weird sentences. Alright, so we're just looking for an IP address. I think we're gonna leave Nakes alone. I don't wanna reboot again. So, let's go ahead and do this instead. So we have a proxy, we know what to do with this. Shell it up. I think we're like logged into all these things, whatever, you know, just. So we'll do four shells. Everyone's having a timer now. I wonder if I should have shelled a little more. But this is gonna waste like 20 of my tracing seconds here. So, great. But I'm just looking for an IP address, and I can disconnect and come back in. So I think we'll be okay. Oh my god, like half our time's already gone. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to disconnect. Which I think... Let's see, am I gonna have to like, redo all of these things? Ah! Go, go, go. See if we can get back in here. Oh, perfect, perfect. Look at that. So we disconnect and we're back in. No problem. Wow, that was easy. 168618224246, which we should connect to as well. Jesse text, okay, whatever. Land time. Update. Log will delete obs. FTP bounce. Direct. I could just delete, I'm not gonna delete all that stuff, but here. Okay. FTP bounce is just, oh, go ahead and download, redownload that thing again, but you know. Get wrecked for a second. <laughs> All right. Have we been in this before? Firewall and proxy and all of that. Oh my gosh. So I can't... No, we have not been through this. But I don't have the HTTP web server thing yet or any of these things. Blizzard updater? No. So we'll leave that alone. I don't think we're connected, but we'll just get off of it. 
And this, let me add my additional note of the IP address. We've heard of it because we have it now here. All right, congratulations. It appears as though you have completed the requested task. Hopefully this community's profile will remain a little civilized for some time longer. I think you already said that. Okay. By your current service, Entropy is greatly appreciated. It's become clear that this organization will not satisfy you. To be honest, Entropy was never going to be a big player in the hacker world. I created it to be a sort of goodwill front to what's a very quickly deteriorating public image of the hacker subculture. Well, I hope that you'll continue to help out if Entropy needs you. You've more than deserved this offer. I'm a member of a rather powerful, invite-only hacker group known as CSEC, a group which contains only exceptional hackers and a computer security experts, or and computer security experts. But I think you'd fit right in. I've set a request for you to receive an invite, and you should receive an email from them shortly with an acceptance test. Know that I do not do this lightly, and invite to this group is highly sought after in some circles. Good luck, Tex. There's the invite. Let me actually do this. I'll go back here. Ah, see, I can't do these. I still can't do these. Maybe eventually I'll be able to. But the next thing to do is to, t is to do their test here. And I'm thinking I'm going to wait on that, and we're going to keep this new, and we're going to do it next time. So I'm going to just hold off right here. This is a, kind of a short, on the shorter side of the episodes, but we got hacked, we rebooted. Nice. So next time we will do the CSEC invitation, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Take care. Goodbye.